Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain basic statistical concepts for data science and machine learning engineers. So, statistics is the study of collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation and organization of data. Basically, statistics are two types. Okay. One is descriptive statistics. One is descriptive statistics. And second type is inferential statistics. Inferential statistics. Second one is inferential statistics. So descriptive statistics means which summarizes the data from a sample using indexes such as mean, mode, median, standard deviation, variance, etc. For example, if a student scores 20 marks in one subject, 10 marks in another subject, 0 marks in another subject and 30 marks in another subject. What is the average score of student? 20 plus 10 plus 0 plus 30 divided by 4. So 60 divided by 4 is equal to 15 is the average score. So this is nothing but mean. Okay, here conclusion draws from describing the data. Okay, based on this course here conclusion is given okay average score is 15 now coming to the inferential statistics in this type of statistics which draws the conclusion from the data that are subjected to random variation for example here uh, some IPL data is available last 10 years IPL data is available based on last 10 years IPL data for example one conclusion is drawn team 1 and team 2 these two teams are entered into the final these two teams are entered into the final okay that means here which draws the conclusion from the available data okay here describing the data scores 20 10 0 30 okay student scores that is the difference between the descriptive statistics and inferential statistics now in this video, I am focused on only descriptive statistic concepts. In descriptive statistics, so first concept is measure of central tendency. Measure of central tendency. So, in this, three concepts are very, very important. So, first one is mean. First one is mean. How to calculate mean? Same example. If a student scores 10 marks, 20 marks, 0 marks, 40 marks, and 30 marks in 5 subjects. So what is the average score of a student? 10 plus 20, 30. 30 plus 0, 30. 30 plus 40, 70. 70 plus 30, 100. 100 divided by total number of subjects, 5. That is equal to 20 is the average score. So, in statistics, this is nothing but mean, denoted by the symbol mu. So, mu is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n x of i divided by n. x means number of, x means here observations. So, 10 is the first observation, 20 is the second observation, 0, 40, 30. Up. So, values, okay. So, n is the number of samples, total observations, okay. So, xi means first value, 10, second value, 20, third value, 0, fourth value, 40, and fifth value, 30. So, this is nothing but mean. Now, coming to the median, coming to the median. Suppose, this is available data set, this is available data set. So, these data sets are arranged in ascending order from lowest to highest. So that means 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So what is the middle number here? 20. So 20 is the median. Suppose only 4 numbers are available. Only 4 numbers are available. Assume 0, 10, 20, 30. 4 numbers are available. How to calculate median? This is 2 middle numbers. 10 plus 20, 30 divided by 2. That is equal to 50. Okay. Anyhow, in the given set of data, here 5 numbers is there. That's why middle number is the median. 
in this data only four numbers 0 10 20 30 so how to calculate median 10 plus 20 divided by 2 middle numbers divided by 2 so that is equal to 15 and the next concept mode mode so mode means the value that has higher frequency in a given set of values for example in a given set of values 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 10 comma 40 what is the mode here 10 is repeated two times therefore mode is equal to 10 these three concepts are very very important to measure the central tendency and next concept method of dispersion okay mode of dispersion this is very very important okay so measures of dispersion very very important that means how disperse our data suppose indian batsman scores 10 comma 20 100 and 150 runs okay what is happening here is so here one batsman scored 10 and the other batsman scores 20 and remaining two batsmen scores 100 and 150 that means here more spread is occurred suppose batsman scores 2 comma 5 comma 8 comma 9 runs that means less spread is occurred okay so spread is low okay for example here given set of data 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 okay so and 0 and 0 this is the set of data so how to calculate variance so variance is the first concept in measures of dispersion so first what is the xi xi so samples 10 okay and 20 30 40 0 these are the samples so what is the mean so here mean is nothing but average value 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 40 100 100 plus 0 100 100 divided by 5 that means mean is equal to 20 so here mean is represented by symbol mu mean is equal to 20 so this is nothing but average nothing but average next column x i minus mu so 10 minus 20 that is equal to minus 10 20 minus 20 that is equal to 0 30 minus 20 that is equal to 10 40 minus 20 that is equal to 20 0 minus 20 that is equal to minus 20 some negative values are there some positive values are so there that's why here x i minus mu square is constant minus 10 is equal to minus 10 square is equal to 100 0 square is equal to 0 10 square is equal to 100 and 20 square is equal to 400 minus 20 square is equal to 400 so total value is equal to 1000 total value is equal to 1000 okay so this 1000 is divided by this 1000 is divided by total number of samples 5 that is equal to 200 this is nothing but variance this is nothing but variance so variance means simply variance is equal to x i minus mu whole square okay sigma i is equal to 1 to n divided by n this is nothing but variance now coming to the standard deviation coming to the standard deviation coming to the standard deviation standard deviation is nothing but standard deviation is nothing but square root of variance standard deviation is nothing but square root of variance so square root of 200 is equal to something like uh, somewhere between 14 and 15 so 14.1 approximately equal to 14.1 so this variance and standard deviations are used measure of dispersion concept for example the in this example mean is equal to 20 for given set of values okay 
so here one batsman scores 30 okay one batsman scores 40 one batsman score 10 another batsman score 0 that means here difference is less 10 here difference is plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 here minus 10 minus 10 here minus 20 that means how data is spread okay that means how data is spread so this variance and standard deviation concepts are used to measure of dispersions okay so now i will show you how to implement these concepts using python okay using python so for this here jupyter notebook is using jupyter notebook is using and So first import import numpy numpy as np comma from scipy from scipy scientific python from scipy import stats import stats okay here a is equal to given set of data is 10 comma 20 comma 0 comma 30 comma 40 okay five samples are taken how to calculate mean so n p dot mean within the brackets here a is given right just observe the output so that means program is in running here the star mark indicates program is running just observe the output so what is the mean value 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 0 30 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 40 100 divided by 5 samples that is equal to 20 so 20 is the mean value so similarly median np dot median np dot median within the brackets here a is given here median also 20 why because if we arrange the numbers in ascending order 0 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 so what is the middle number 20 is the middle number okay that's why median is median and mean also same here okay now mode okay stats dot mode within the brackets here a is given so mode is equal to zero mode is equal to 0 lowest number 0 here mode value is 0 one time repeated okay suppose i will change the data set b is equal to data value 12 comma 13 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 9 so here 9 repeated two times okay so stats dot mode in the brackets here p is given so mode is 9 count two times okay suppose here 1 9 is terminated deleted and again run this so what is the value of mode 6 so here lowest number is 6 okay if we arrange it in ascending order 6 7 8 9 12 13 lowest number is 6 that's why here mode is equal to 6 
okay count one so now coming to the variance okay so np dot variance v a r within the brackets a is given so we will get 200 already calculated this value so v a r function is used to calculate the variance okay np for np stands for numpy okay so standard deviation square root of variance is nothing but a standard deviation so np dot std function is here use it and within the brackets a is given so square root of 200 nothing but 14.14 so in this way these concepts are implemented using python thank you